Did you know that over 95% of dog parents unknowingly make at least one mistake when dealing with their dogs? So today, we're zeroing in on the 12 most common yet easily fixable mistakes that dog parents make to ensure your canine companion is happy, healthy, and never at risk. Sustaining your dog on meat alone. Dogs belong to the order carnivora, so they must be meat eaters, right? Well, a close look at their anatomy says otherwise. Dogs joined humans more than 10,000 years ago. Research published in the well-known journal Nature discovered 36 genes that changed as dogs evolved from wolves, with 10 of these genes crucial for digesting starch and processing fats. This genetic adaptation allowed dogs to flourish on starch-heavy diets that wolves couldn't handle. This research has played a big part in classifying dogs as omnivores today, meaning they can get all the nutrients they need from a mix of different foods, including plants. In fact, just feeding dogs meat is not enough for their nutrition and can lead to a lack of essential nutrients like calcium and vitamin D. Dogs on meat-only diets may suffer from nutritional secondary hyperparathyroidism, which can lead to serious bone and mobility issues. And while we're on the subject of what's essential, let's talk about what's not. Beware of foods with a long list of preservatives and unpronounceable ingredients. The simpler the better. Placing the water bowl next to their food. On the subject of mealtimes, did you know that where you place your dog's water bowl could be why they're turning up their nose at it? Dogs are instinctive creatures, and in the wild, they wouldn't drink water close to their food source. Why? because water near food could be contaminated by their kill. Try placing their water bowl in another room, or at least a few feet away from their food. This small change can make a big difference in how much water they drink. Not watching their nails. You might not think much about your dog's nails until you get an unexpected acupuncture session while they're giving you their paw. If left unattended, overgrown nails can be a source of pain and even medical problems. Even more troubling, chronically overgrown nails can even change the natural angle at which your dog stands and can cause arthritis to occur in those limbs in the long term. When your furry friend digs around during walks or playtime, their nails might naturally get a little trim. However, pups who hang out indoors a lot might end up with longer nails, so it's a good idea to regularly check their paws. But nail trimmings or not, if you notice your dog is still reluctant to walk or is limping, it could be a sign of joint discomfort. Aging dogs can lose some of their youthful agility, making it harder for them to reach those spots they love. But creating a senior-friendly environment doesn't require a home makeover. Simple adjustments can make a big difference. For instance, placing steps to their favorite couch can give them back their cozy spot without the painful climb. Also, consider the placement of their essentials. Food, water, toys. These should be easily accessible, without the need for climbing. Another thing is, many dog beds have thin mattresses that sink down, leaving your dog pretty much sleeping on the hard floor. This could increase the risk of arthritis, a common disease with a sometimes very early onset. Dogs are resilient and usually only show obvious distress when they're in severe pain. So no matter if your doggo is 3 or 13 years old, stay on the lookout for the early signs of discomfort. Stiffness in the morning, limping, or any sign of lameness are all indicators of creeping discomfort. Showing your dog their poop or pee. When you catch your dog going potty indoors, it might seem helpful to show them the mess to teach them it's wrong. However, this can confuse them and make them anxious, possibly leading them to fear you instead of understanding the lesson. Puppies naturally know not to use their sleeping area as a bathroom, but they don't instinctively understand that outdoors is the place for bathroom breaks. If you're worried about accidents damaging your floors, consider using leak-proof mats for soaking up moisture and trapping odors. Overlooking the feeding ratios, What's a little extra food from the table? One more treat wouldn't do any harm, right? Not according to the Association for Pet Obesity Prevention. They report that as many as 56% of dogs in the US are overweight or obese. 
Carrying even a few extra pounds can lead to various health issues for dogs, especially as they grow older, such as joint pain, injuries, and arthritis. On the flip side, maintaining a healthy weight for your dog can reduce their risk of diabetes, high blood pressure, respiratory diseases, kidney disease, and certain cancers. One of the best ways to support your dog's health is to ensure your dog gets plenty of exercise. Additionally, consider incorporating vegetables like carrots or green beans as low-calorie treats, and regularly monitor their weight with vet visits. Unintentionally reinforcing the wrong behavior Whenever you praise, treat, or pet your dog, you're essentially giving them a thumbs up for whatever they're doing at that moment. The simplest way to tackle this issue is to always check yourself. What exactly am I rewarding right now? We've all been there. You arrive back from work, open the door, and there's your dog, jumping, barking, and buzzing with excitement. The problem is, if you shower them with love right then, you're teaching them that their wild behavior earns them treats and attention. Meaning that, of course, they'll keep doing it. Instead, enter your home calmly, ignore your dog if they're too wound up, and wait for them to settle down. Once they're calm, that's your cue to give them anything your dog loves. Cuddles, baby talk, petting, or treats. Comforting your dog when they whimper. And here's another common scenario. You're walking a shy dog through your neighborhood. If your dog becomes frightened, starts barking, or whines, the natural reaction might be to comfort them with petting and soothing words like, it's okay, or good boy. However, this can accidentally reinforce their fear or reactivity because you're rewarding behaviors you'd rather not see. Instead, try guiding your nervous dog with calm energy. A simple, easy command can work wonders. Whether your dog gets nervous on the leash or tends to jump around too much at home, your calm reaction in response can help manage their excitement and anxiety. Also, consider calming collars infused with natural ingredients like valerian, these can be especially helpful during thunderstorms, fireworks, or while traveling. Not checking your house plants. We love that dogs are naturally curious and enjoy exploring their surroundings, but this inquisitiveness can be dangerous. They love to eat, and not everything that goes in their mouths is safe. In some ways, they're just like toddlers. This natural curiosity means dogs are often prone to sampling various plants and grasses found both inside and outside your home. Take aloe vera, for example. It's essentially kryptonite to dogs, causing lethargy, vomiting, and kidney issues. Philodendron, pothos, dracaena, and snake plants are also on the no-no list for dogs. So if you want to add more greenery to your space, opt for dog-friendly options. Spider plants, not to be confused with snake plants. Orchids and succulents are great choices that won't harm your dog if they decide to take a little taste. Using dental snacks in replacement of teeth brushing. Dental snacks are a helpful addition, helping reduce plaque and tartar buildup, but they can't replace the thorough cleaning that brushing offers. Using special dog toothbrushes is essential for promoting and maintaining your dog's dental health. And the calorie count we mentioned earlier? Look for low-calorie dental sticks and consider snacks that are free from artificial additives to ensure healthier choices for your pet. Using harsh cleaning products. When your pet walks on freshly cleaned floors, their paws pick up stuff on the way. And if that stuff includes bleach and ammonia, found in common cleaners, they can damage your doggo's paw pads. Worse still, if they lick their paws later, they can inhale dangerous fumes. To keep your pup safe, consider using pet-friendly cleaning products that don't contain these harsh chemicals. Now, here's the biggest mistake. Not respecting their nature. It sounds simple, right? But you'd be surprised how often this gets overlooked. Dogs are not furry little humans. They come with a unique set of instincts hardwired for chewing, digging, and barking. These aren't just whims. They're survival strategies that have been passed down through generations of canine evolution. So, when your dog is shredding your new sofa or zooming around the house at 3 a.m., they're not being spiteful. They're just being a dog. Try directing their energy into positive activities. Consider interactive toys that keep them engaged when you're not around. Regular playtimes and walks can help burn off extra energy that might otherwise lead to barking. 
and if it persists? A visit to a professional trainer could help address any underlying issues your pup might have. What would your dog ask for if they were able to tell you what they wanted? Check out this video for six common items around your home that can make your dog's life even better.